713, although the holiday is not till Monday, special ceremonies and events are being held today, marking what would have been Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. If he were still with us, Dr. King would be 82 years old. And here to tell us more about the life and the legacy of Dr. King is Dr. Boise Kimber, pastor of First Calvary Baptist Church in New Haven. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you very much. And, and first of all, you know, you and I were just talking during the commercial break. You grew up in Alabama, correct? Grew up in Alabama. Uh, so I would imagine that Dr. King's legacy is near and dear to your heart. Very dear uh, to my heart, a mentor. I look at him as a mentor, a great Baptist preacher. Uh, civil rights leader, social justice activist. And I would imagine growing up there shaped who you are today. Shaped a great part of me, shaped my social justice life, uh, the initiative uh, that I have for social justice, the love that I have for the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. On a weekend like this weekend, what do you want people to think about? You know, what should they be, when we talk about Dr. King's birthday or Monday when people celebrate the holiday, where should their heads and hearts be? I think that we certainly have to remember the dream and the legacy of Dr. King, what Dr. King stood for, uh, the impact that he had on America in general. Mm -hmm. And do you find that it might be uh, tougher or maybe time to sort of double down our efforts? We have a whole generation of people now growing up after Dr. King's legacy that might not feel as connected with it as his previous generations who actually, you know, witnessed what he did. I think that it is encompassing upon the, the African American leaders, uh, preachers, uh, activists, civil rights leaders to continue to uh, talk to young people and embrace them and share with them uh, the legacy of King and what King stood for, a nonviolent individual. Mm -hmm. Is this something that when, when preachers get together at, at various conferences, is this something that comes up? I mean, is this something you guys talk about? Always. Uh, Dr. King was uh, part of the uh, National Baptist Convention, USA Inc., in which I'm a part of. And Dr. King wanted to bring in uh, social justice, and the convention split uh, because of Dr. King's civil rights stand and his social justice activists. Mm -hmm. We, we mentioned you saw Crystal Haynes' piece a little earlier, the yes. Love March going on today. Um, are you aware of any other activities going on this weekend or any of the ways that people can pay tribute to Dr. King? Uh, there is uh, one individual, uh, one uh, segment that I will be at uh, in Milford at City Hall on uh, Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock uh, commemorating the uh, 25th uh, anniversary of uh, the Lynx who is celebrating uh, Dr. King. All right. Well, tell me more about the Lynx Association. Well, it, it, it is a group of um, uh, women who uh, have uh, worked actively uh, within the, the community uh, na nationwide to uh, embrace uh, a community to embrace people and certainly keeping the dream alive. Mm -hmm. There might be some people out there who say, look, it's the United States of America, we've, we've got an African American in the White House, do we really need to still do all this in terms of thinking about in, in championing civil rights? What would your answer to them be? I think it's in, important because civil rights uh, should be a part of every individual uh, life. It doesn't make any difference whether you are black, white, yellow, or green. Uh, it is it is encompassing upon all of us to certainly understand that uh, many of our civil rights have been violated. It doesn't make any difference what color you are. It's a never-ending mission, isn't it? Yes, it is. Dr. Boise Kimber, thanks so much for coming in this morning and sharing the information about Sunday's event. I hope you have a good turnout and uh, hopefully impact people's lives in the way they think. Thank, Thank you so very much, too. Pleasure having you. If you want more information on what we just talked about, you can go to our website, WTNH.com. Just click on the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section.